I'm going to be tying this fly here. This is a, a very light version of the cascade, or tailless version if you want to call it in a way. I mean, it has a crest tail, but basically I've taken away the tail. It's a standard uh, hair wing fly. It's a great pattern to, to fish with. and So I'm going to tie you one. This is tied on a silver. It's a Patriot hook. Now, you can use, I've got the mustad as well. You can, you can use as the mustad, size 8. Slightly different shape, but still a nice hook to use, and it's quite a simple fly to tie. What I'm going to do here is to run the wax through the, the thread. Now the thread, it's just a uni thread eight oh in black. Just start at the, the eye of the hook. We start to work our way down. We tie in the rib, and basically for the tag I'm going to use this small oval tinsel, silver tinsel. You could use wire if you want, uh, the wire will last longer if you try and use it in your flies. Especially in the smaller flies, I'd rather use wire. Then we take it down, thread down until I'm in line with the point of the hook. And then wind down to my fourth turn there and then bring the oval tinsel between the hooks and underneath. Catch this in. Take the thread up. This will balance the fly if you do this. And then back down. This will Separate the tag from the rib, which this is going to be. Tail, I'm going to, I'll tie in a couple, I mean, just to show you. It's a golden pheasant crest. The tail, tail length is much the body length. Set it on top. Trim away the waist. The full length of the body, so you have no steps. Now what I'm going to do is tie in some, some hot orange. Orange, just the same golden pheasant crest on top, same length. And I'm going to work my way down, turn this away. So balance things again. It's a fine thread, you're not building up too much bulk. Now, because I'm going to false hackles, false throw it, you can get that wee touch closer to the eye of the hook, say maybe a couple of mil. Now on the way back down, tidy up again and then we tie in some holographic silver tinsel. This is a large so I'm just gonna catch that in the way in. To the tail. It's easier to do that. Come back back up halfway. Now when you're twisting this make sure the Taper of the goes in towards the hook, so you get the straight edge on this side. You'll see it when you wind it up. Straight turn at the back, slightly overlapping the turns as you wind. This point, a couple of turns to hold. Trim in line with the end of the body there, as you can see, because that'll stop any taper. Just using a real and black floss, so you could use a uni floss, whatever you have. Or even in the smaller sizes, you can get away with just using the thread. Thread's fine. Just put your way up. Nice straight turn at the back here, and then form your body. Now, to save a wee bit of bulk, you can actually take the thread up a bit and come back down. This will tie it in. It's the same colour, so you'll not see it. Bring your rib up through. Looking round about five turns, two, three, four, five, underneath, catch it with the thread, nice and tight, and then trim away the waist. Wax on your thread at this point, make sure you, it's well, well caught in, the wax will give it a bit more grip. Now to throw it, just using dyed yellow, hen and hot orange. This is going to be for the top of the wing as well as the throat, so it's going to pull out some of the fibres, 90 degrees from the stem, so line the tips up. 
underneath. It would be in this sort of style of hook round to the point of the hook. It's a pinching loop. A couple of turns just to hold it. Again, remove the fluff. And then again, we're going to need some hot orange. Make sure the tips are lined up. Again, underneath the same length. Pinch and loop. A couple of turns. Now, what I'm going to do here is make sure it is spread so you can get hold of the thread and then use your nail. Just press it so that the fibres spread underneath. You can see like that. That's fine. Trim away your waist. Watch your thread when you do that. Again, a wee touch of wax. A stray fibre here, we need to my weight. Just make sure this is sitting where you want. Just ready for the wing. Now I'm going to put a bit of flash in the wing. Now I've got some crystal flash silver. Got two strands here. So just about the tail length. Catching it on my side, a couple of turns, folding it so it's folded back with the other two, doubling up on that and then trim it. Yeah, that's fine. So not pull out. For the wing you could use many things, but I'm using, this is Russian, uh, well Russian squirrels one you could use, but this is Arctic Runner dyed black. Now you're looking for short pieces, so bring it enough for the wing. Now you may have one or two guard hairs a wee touch longer. Just leave them because it adds to the taper of the wing. But don't put too much on. Just check my length again. I like it obviously further than the tail. This style of hook it just you'd have to see what you prefer. Or I like it obviously to taper away. Now get the length of the wing that you want. I'm going to trim this straight, just as where I would tie in, so it saves me cutting. Now come over the top, nice and tight. Now if you think you're going to have issues with the, the wing pulling out, this is the best way. Super glue onto the thread, and then wind, tying it on. Nice and tight, it should never pull out of that. As long as you're nice and tight. Back to our hen hackle, the yellow and the hot orange. Don't need a lot of material here, it's just a few fibres to make sure they're lined up again. I'm going to go down about halfway into the, the wing. Sit on top, couple of turns, get the hot orange, again, same amount. Let's bring it 90 degrees, end will line up. on top, same length, or it could be a wee touch longer, it's up to yourself. Trim away the waist, wax on your thread, tidy the head area up. If, if you have a problem here, if it's slipping, just zigzag the thread, figure eight like just so you go zigzag, this will give it grip and stops it stops it slipping. And if you do see some of the yellow non shoes, they're simple. You could sort that with either using black varnish or even a permanent marker will take it away and then varnish over the top. There we go. Let's see what it's like. It looks okay. And there's a you want it quite sparse. It swims really well in the water, so now the way I varnish the head is quite simple. Just to speed up the process, I'll use super glue. Just touch it all the way around. And allow that to dry, and then you're looking two coats of varnish, and it should be fine. You know, we speed it up a wee bit, just use the hair dryer. Mm. 
At the same time, you can actually get the fibre to set that a wee bit better. You can encourage it with the hairdryer. Then, varnish. All the way around. As I say, another coat and that'll be finished. There we go. Great wee pattern. Cascade without fear.